Hmm. Caused a lot of buzz. Well, I guess really one of the main reasons going with this <laughs> is I had a heart attack in 2017 and sitting at home laying on the couch and bought this part. The brown part of the deal. <laughs> the brown part. Well, that's yeah. a pretty good reason to build yeah, one so, of the most you know, badass a, YJs out there. I was laying around and like thinking, man, I have, I want to build another YJ. So I bought this one and I bought the green one with the intention of building a Jeep. And then 2017, we got busy. Then 18, then 2019, you know, all busy, you know, trying to work on the company. And then. All right, let's build the Jeep. It's time. So, we got into um, building what four years ago? Yeah, about three, three. Yeah, three maybe. years ago. But you know, building the Jeep, I guess, part of the reason just getting back out on the trails and going wheeling and getting out with people. But you, know, you sit around for, I don't know, building YJs like mid 90s and start having all these ideas over the past few years. And it's like, okay, well, I we'll want to build another one. So, yeah, but see, there's a lot of people yeah. that are really think it's cool yeah. that you've gone back to a YJ. Yeah. Everybody yeah. keeps, and I say everybody loosely, yeah. Yeah. but people are going JKs and JLs yeah. and, and even a JT. Not that we've left those alone, but yeah. it's really cool. I think that's why it's got such a buzz. It's yeah. as you're revisiting the YJ platform and building all new stuff with today's technology back to the YJ. Yeah, I mean, you know, like another reason why the YJ, I mean, that's really where I started in the off-road business. That green that's, YJ? Oh, no. Oh, uh, that thing was cool, though. I mean, no, that's the motorbelt one, but I mean, even on back in the Blue Torch days, before Blue Torch was a business, you know, building YJs for myself and other people, and that's where the buzz of that company got started, and I don't know, so this is kind of going back grassroots, you know, and <laughs> I, I like the throwback. There's going to be a lot of a lot of people saying, hey, just square headlights, whatever. But I, arguably, I think the YJ is probably one of the last, YJ TJ, yeah. one of the last really cool years of Jeep. Nice flat side. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, full box frame. Yeah, platform to build something from. The frame rails are certainly much better versus like the CJ. And then you get into the JK, where, well, there's a lot of stuff with that. They're still good platform, but. Now, for those of people who don't know, um, I guess to give a quick once over, um, this project has a lot of uh, Moto Belt products already on it. The front half, we call it the front half frame kit, back half, um, full truss kits, all the steering, all the suspension, everything is a test bed for Moto Belt products. So we're trying to push the envelope on the YJ, um, and it does cross over to quite a bit of things, but I don't know how many people would put. It, it, can you look at this? This is a huge yeah. 73 and a half inch wheel mount to wheel mount, four inch tube fusion shaved 14 bolts in the front. It's front and rear. So usually, <laughs> it's, that's a hog leg. I don't know if yeah. you can see that, but this would not be a typical YJ belt. Look at the size of that thing. That thing's ginormous. This is what you would, you would put on a rock bouncer. Yeah. Um, and but then it's for the horsepower. Well, yeah. Now tell them a little bit about this one. It was supposed to be a uh, LS. Well, originally I wanted to buy an LS X454, but GM didn't have them available. I called and talked to Golan Engine about building one with one of the GM blocks. He's like, "Yeah, I'll order one." Well, they were on back order. He called me a few weeks later. I know that you're wanting it in this certain timeline. I have this Dart racing block. I can build it like an LS X454 with the Dart block won't charge you any extra i'm like all right <laughs> yeah so he went through the engine built it and i think when they were dynoing it was 12 degrees outside so it was dynoing i think 730 at 12 degrees he was saying you know it should hit 750 or better at, on pump gas you know pump gas at a normal temperature so um we'll see what happens but with that horsepower comes other problems in addition to the the axles which is transmission is the next one so Maximum transmission, pretty much built a trophy truck transmission with all billet internals, a billet <laughs> torque converter. So he, the, the guy there at uh, Maximum, he's like, well, if you want, to, want it to stay together with all four tires off the ground and drop it, this is what you should do. So it was about 13 grand later, here comes the transmission. Woo! 
And then you're gonna run an Atlas. What's the gearing on the Atlas? Atlas will go three to one for some wheel speed, but we'll have the horsepower to muscle it through some of the crawling. So <laughs> some of the some of the stuff. What were you thinking about for stall on this thing? Um, we're gonna have to go a little higher, probably yeah, in the 2400. 2400, yeah. 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 I'm not it's, sure yet. It's a big block, so yeah, you still want to be able to crawl with it, all right. So you don't want to. Yeah, I like the gas pedal though, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if any of you saw the YouTube videos. Um, we made a trip to uh, Sand Hollow, and Dan was out just beating on the Gladiator. He smacked the bed a few times, and uh, it was all in testing. But he, man, he doesn't—he's not shying away from the skinny pedal, so that's, that's yeah. so good. It'll be a lot of fun, but you know, I guess it's really built more for East Coast trails because of the width and the engine and wheel speed capability, but we'll still be able to go out and have a good time in Moab and, and I don't know, I'm looking forward to it, you know, with the internal bypass shocks and some of the things we're doing with the suspension, being able to put it at speed out on the lake bed in Johnson Valley. So. Yeah, I want to jump it. I want to jump yeah. it really. <laughs> I just really want to go downtown here in Ozark and like let it rip around the town square. It's going to be extremely loud. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's an inch and three. It's, Huge primaries into a three inch exhaust, all the collectors, um, all stainless. But here's a front half kit. This is the new suspension kit that offering on the YJ. It gets really tight. All oh, the cow armor, boat sides. Yeah, a lot of products Ooh. developed during this build that you can you know already find on the Motobilt website. Like we've already released the boat side rockers with the updated uh, sheet metal pieces that go inside the Jeep to cover off the hole. We've already released the rear stretch corners, the inner fenders. Um, I don't know. We got a, there's shock hoops that are in it. Now this, just just to be absolutely clear, looks super cool. In no way, shape, or form is this cage going to be available on the website. This is a lot of. This is not a, a, a factory or standard cage. We do have a lot of plans, like interior-wise, like the the dash that you see in there is just the beginning we drew up a rough shape we wanted to keep the yj kind of look with this little squared off dash and kind of be a little bit similar to what the factory dash would be but the the plans we have in the center to hold the race pack and some other options uh we'll be posting up soon but i like that. that i like the the new technology race pack dash and some of the other stuff touch screen incorporated with the yj throwback so it's just really cool hybrid of a a build Man, and you see this all the time. Everybody loves this. It's just it's just a taillight bezel with these corners, but incorporated this into quite a few products, even on the JT, the bob bed. But just a really cool. Well, I mean, too, we'll get the camera in close, but I want to explain why we don't offer this as a kit. That someone could buy this bezel and a taillight kit. Because if you see these holes, like going around and cutting all of this and making it match up to it, that is it, not gonna happen no but so it, it needs to be made into the corner with this on there but the other problem is the factory inner fender is running about this height right here so in order to get that in there that factory inner fender would be in the way and if you lowered it it wouldn't look right and then two we don't have it installed right now but there's a, a fairly large bracket set up that goes on the inside to be able to hold the tail light and the reverse light or auxiliary light whatever you want to call it so that's why it's not offered as a kit to retrofit onto something someone already has. We have a couple questions about the fuel cell. So this is still a prototype cell. It's an under the frame fuel cell. I think it's right at 22 gallons. Um, hopefully we'll be releasing this one pretty soon. It's for our uh, back half kit. The whole rear frame section has been replaced. It's up higher and in tighter. This should be available soon. Nice little tap, trap door just to keep the fuel out. And then if you wanted a remote mount, you can come up with any remote mount that you want. But this is a nice, easy way to, to get it through the floor and to keep that fuel out of the passenger compartment. What else we got on this, Dan? We did make a trap door that we're going to offer for this. It uh, has a lid that shuts and, and locks shut. So um, that'll, that'll be out pretty soon. Now, uh, these aren't the wheels and tires that are going to go on this. No, we'll be running the Mickey Thompson's and most likely a Dirty Life beadlock wheel on it. We're just kind of been waiting to get past King of the Hammers, but also getting further along in the build to make sure 
uh, you know, where we're going to end up. Yeah, so. now are you going to go to a 17 or a 20 inch wheel? More than likely we're going to go to a 17 on this just so we have that more sidewall to be able to hit things at speed and collapse that around the, around the wheel without getting into the wheel. If you haven't got the hit yet, there's a lot of speed and a lot of skinny pedal. Keeps talking about it. it's going to be epic when this thing gets uh, yeah. going. I think we're going to do a lot of peeling out, a lot of jumping. It'll be cool. Yeah. All the suspension stuff we've already talked about online with people. You guys can find out more information on the double triangulated four link setup that was designed on this that's already been released. Uh, we are running PRP seats. The steering's all from PSC. Tom and his guys over at PSC always take care of us on the hydraulic steering side of things. Aaron and his crew at PRP, they do an amazing job building seats. We use their product in pretty much everything we make. Awesome. Well, I know you're a busy, man. Thanks for stopping by, and thank you guys for stopping by. Mm. And uh, we'll keep, we're gonna keep banging away on yeah, this thing. I still do work. Still work. <laughs> look, look. <laughs>